Now then YouTube, I am the top man. Welcome back to this HeroCraft Minecraft mod pack that's uh, made by Dwing at 2008. His channel will be in the description um, if I remember to put it there. I tend to remember half the time. Um, sometimes I don't, but that's just me. I can never remember anything. Um, but anyway, fellas, I've got a plan today. I have a plan. Now what I'm actually going to get to, I'm going to uh, move this. I'm going to first get all these out of here like this. Uh, I'm going to move this. Because what I want to do is a little bit of bee breeding. Something that uh, I'm not entirely sure how it all works. However, there are some things that I do know. Um, so, we've got a couple of spare drones there. And we've got a, a purebred forest queen there. And um, we've just with our meadows princess. Uh, I think I'm going to keep the meadows princess. Um, and grab myself a forest drone for this uh, and these other drones I'm just going to keep to one side now I am going to need another Meadows Princess going into the future so I'm probably going to have to go out and uh, and find myself another beehive but it's not going to be too difficult finding one of them so I'm going to combine a Meadows Princess with a forest drone and that has a chance of coming back uh, as a common breed I believe that's how it works. So I could end up with the chance of, of getting common bees. So we'll, we'll just leave that to it and um, I will, we'll come back later on to see how we're doing. Now the rest of this episode, I was thinking about it really in between episodes. I was thinking about what I was going to do with this setup here because of course that requires uh, a lot of power. An absolute lot of power. And uh, I, that reminds me actually, I haven't actually put this back on. So what I'm going to do is turn that off first. I'm not going to be messing around like what I did last time. Um, and I can't seem to get up there. What I am going to do is knock that off as well just to make damn sure that this is not going to, you know, mess up. And then I'm going to put that on so that like that. So it should be okay now and nothing's going to crash on me. Which is limp. But there's not enough power going into here. There's just really not enough power. I'm going to take these out so it's not going to get anything... I'm going to knock this off. I'm actually going to knock this off. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to actually set up myself. We've got a little bit of a water lake here, so that's going to be good. I am going to set myself up a combustion engine block this episode so I can get the gates done. And when I've got the gates done, I can then automate the, co uh, the combustion engine block so that it doesn't actually overheat and blow up everywhere. It will sort itself out and uh, auto switch off. So that's what we're going to be doing in uh, in today's episode uh, let me just get myself sorted and I will be back in a second it looks as if I'm going to need a lot of iron for this build what I want to do is create three combustion engines it's only three for the minute and then possibly adding another three later on but three should definitely do what I want it to do um, the only thing is and we've got a big big problem um, with the combustion engines. I'm probably actually going to go over to the steam engines because I haven't got the first part of the build. You know what? No. I think I'm going to stick with what I've got which is, which is the combustion engines. It just means I've got to start a little bit further back which is uh, a damn damn shame. But anyway, I'm going to need um, a buildcraft pump which is this thing, a mining well and a tank. In fact, hang on a second, let me think. Yeah, it's going to have to be a build craft pump. So, um, because the red craft pump doesn't actually uh, extend like the build, the build craft pump does. So, unfortunately, red power pump, if you're anywhere here, um, you, you, there you are. Uh, you'd, you won't work for this. So, mining well and a tank. A mining well is done with six bits of iron, an iron pickaxe, an iron gear, and, uh, and redstone. So, let's get that stuff together now so we need six pieces of raw iron we need a further three for a pickaxe along with um, two sticks obviously we need a bit of redstone and we need an iron gear I'm on the ball today fellas on the ball today let's see if this will work in here so you can see we've got the iron now um, all that kind of good stuff I'm waiting for the iron gear still there it is. Let's go back in. Can I make a mining well straight from this, please? If you wouldn't mind. Ah, saving chunks. Obviously not. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm back after that saving chunks error, and I'm sorry I'm going to have to do this, Devon, but uh, that is bugged. 
seriously bugged at the minute, so I'm not going to be using that. Um, which is a shame because that is a good piece of equipment as a crafting table three. It saves a lot of uh, a lot of hassle and, and uh, a lot of work. So it is a shame. So let's get this on the go then. So we've got that. We have that. We have that. We have the iron down either side. There's the mining well. And of course it does need a tank to be able to function properly, which means I'm going to need more glass. Um, let's get a piece of glass there. And what I'm going to do is get that. Just put the uh, glass in the target slot there. Burn that up. And I'll have a full stack of glass, please. Thank you. And I only want eight pieces. Thank you. Looks like it is going to just about to get dark out there, so I'll best be quick. I'm going to make myself a tank. And the tank and the mining well, and there is the pump. Um, I'm going to sleep through the night. I'm going to be back, and I'm going to uh, make myself four redstone engines, because that's what I'm going to need to power these, this baby. Um, and if you notice there, I've actually put a little bit of a, a thing around the oil there, because I want to actually use that oil, probably pump it. I don't know which way yet. I'm not quite sure what I want to do. Um, I might do a little platform in the air, actually. That could be a... Yeah, I've got an idea, fellas. I've got an idea. Um, so I'm going to go sleep, and I'll be back in a second. Well, guys, 15 minutes later, we have what we have set up here. Um, a very nice looking oil platform. That's right. That's what the uh, that's where the oil is going to be stored. And I've forgotten to actually craft something that's quite important to this build. Um, let's have a look around the place. Do I have any spare cactus kicking around? Um, do I farming stuff? Maybe there it is. Right, lovely stuff. Let's teach that to the transmutation table first and foremost. Eight it's worth, okay. There's one piece of cactus. And also I can get the uh cactus green from it too, so sweet. I want all the cactus green I can possibly throw my hand at. Let's see about uh maybe oh let's not put that there. Uh not in the macerator, it's the induction furnace. Is it? Oh no, it's just in a crafting table, isn't it? What a clown. Pipe waterproofing, of course, because I'm going to need some way to transfer it from uh, the pump itself into what I'm going to make next. Which is, of course... If you've guessed it yet, it is. Of course these little babies the tank brilliant stuff now we've uh, we're no we're not all set at all I'm lying to you guys yet again because we need some uh, some um, I really want golden waterproof pipes to be honest for this kind of build so how much gold have we got not a great deal I have to go mining again at some stage wrong bit there. Target gold please. I'm going to shove a couple of diamonds in there because I'm going to want all this gold that I can possibly shake my stick at. I have three glass. I should think that one set will be enough. Brilliant. Um, I didn't have any in there so that's good. And the gold back in there. And uh, Devin made a good point. I'm actually sorting things out myself rather than putting it in the chest to let it sort itself out. Um, I found a, a problem. I don't like it. It's annoying me already. Just got to fix this quick. And you will also notice that this is off centre when you when we come up. I didn't realise it was off centre, but uh, to be honest, I ain't too bothered. I'm not too bothered at all. Um, so let's stick the pump down there. That's going to. Uh, protrude and sticking the uh, the engines all around it here and I'm doing it in the floor so I've got maximum floor space when I'm walking around I don't want to be walking around machines to be quite honest if I can help it 
Now the only problem is with this build is, uh, do I have my axe? I'm sure I, yeah, because I've cut a couple away, uh, cut away a couple of trees down there. Um, I'm going to need to power it, like much like that. So I've got to watch my step. Uh, I could possibly put maybe a little bit of a fence or something around there, but I'm not too bothered about that at the minute. I just want to get things uh, working as they should. And it will put straight out into a normal gold pipe. You don't need a wooden one there. So just keep that in mind. And I'm going to have the the uh, tanks themselves round the here. Now there's a special... Ah, oh, I bet it's not in here, actually. Nope, it's not in this. It's part of the additional uh, buildcraft objects, the balance pipe. Uh, that could have been very useful there as well, but never mind, not to worry. Not particularly too fussed about that. I really must have a speak with Devon about that. I've totally forgot about that after last episode to do that. So now we've got a way of getting ourselves oil. Um, but of course, to fuel the, uh, the, the combustion engines, which is what I'm doing this far in the first place, to fuel that I'm going to need fuel not just normal oil and to do that what I'm gonna have to create myself is uh, what's called a refinery have I spelled that right? No I haven't this refinery here it's a diamond gear so pretty expensive with three tanks and two redstone torches brilliant um, and I am gonna want to actually I bet there isn't the uh, thingamabob in here either the not the oh what do you call it the liquid let me have a look let me have a look at pipes here I bet it's not there you know damn it a very useful pipe that valve pipe that's the one was it a valve pipe no if I spelt it right first no I've only got the advanced V valve and stuff that is a shame because that eliminates the need for a redstone engine so I'm gonna have to actually create myself another redstone engine with a wooden waterproof pipe uh, to bring the oil out into a refinery which the refinery itself requires power also uh, but I should get away with actually running that off the peat for a while just so I've got a good bit of um, fuel and I'm probably gonna want to actually go around the other way so I can bend it round here so what I'm gonna do um, and I'll probably set this up off camera actually because I, I don't think you need to see me uh, uh, build all this because I'm just going to explain it exactly how it is. I'm going to what I'm going to do is have a, a, a liquid, sorry, a waterproof wooden pipe here with a redstone engine underneath that's powered, um, obviously. So it pulls the oil out into a refinery. The refinery has some power on the back of it, courtesy of teleport pipe. Uh, a power teleport pipe, which I just so happen to have a spare one since I knocked it off. Power teleport pipe and a normal pipe into the refinery, supplying the re the power to the refinery, and the refinery will then output fuel onto this side. I'll need another redstone engine, um, as well as, you know what? Bugger it, bugger it. I'm going to manually install the um, the advanced build the the buildcraft the blah, blah, the buildcraft additional objects mod and uh, should Devon ever add that or should he bring out any updates to this pack um, I will just make the changes accordingly um, it's only going to be for this setup up here that I'm going to use the advanced you know the additional build craft objects so I'm going to do that and uh, I'll be right back while that was quick easy and painless I simply dropped the additional build craft objects mod into my mods folder I didn't even need to mess around with any kind of block ID settings and everything looks okay um, just looking at all the items I've just been going through them all making sure that everything is actually okay and I'm saying you know I'm not just blowing out my ass here but everything seems okay and everything seems good I don't seem to be mixed up with anything Two iron furnaces. I think I already had them to be quite honest. Yeah, all them. Just doing a check around, making sure that everything is okay. Forest just look at that amount of peat that's in there. It's ridiculous. 
good amount of stuff here. There's nothing that's changed into any kind of build craft additional object stuff, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with everything there. Everything seems to be okay and working fine. So what I want to build myself is two of these power switch pipes, which is a golden conductive pipe along with a lever. And it just so happens to be that I have uh, some golden conductive pipes on me. So let's get these uh, pretty much done. Two levers, brilliant stuff, with two golden conductive pipes. And there's the power switch pipes that I've been wanting for so long. And it's getting dark, of course. That's not a problem. Bit of laggage going on, as usual. And what I want to do is put them there. Oh, no, that's my normal conductive pipe. That would be quite silly to do that. Uh, just there. And you'll notice that it doesn't actually connect. That is, you know, it's meant to do that. It's meant to do it. It's, um does it on purpose. Uh, now I want two more levers. There. And I'm just going to plonk them straight onto the power switch pipes. In fact, there is an easier way of doing this, but to be honest, I like it the way it is. Um, that is the carpenter. That is the centrifuge. So, for example, I've got a honeycomb here. There's a little bit of residual power in there from obviously when you know, I put a normal one in there. If I want power, I just flick that and power comes along, sorts itself out. If I don't want power going in there, I turn it off, it cuts the switch, and uh and no more power. So I'm 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 glad I've got this mod back in now. I really am glad that I've got that mod back. And um it's it's so much, it's improved that so much, it's it, it really has. Um it just means that the next world download, if Devon doesn't put that mod in, uh that won't work. So just just keep it in mind that if you do do the world download, these two things won't be there, as well as the valve pipes that are going to be up there as well. So Anyway guys, I'm just going to sleep through the night there, and I'm going to get ready to build my valve pipes and my refineries. Okay guys, first things first, and that is the refinery. I can't do anything without refining the oil into fuel in the first place. I'm going to pretty much use all my diamonds doing this, um, but that's fine. It will be worth it in the long run. Let's go to uh, crafting here. I'm going to need myself just the one golden gear uh, to change into an eye into a diamond gear. Sorry. I'm also going to need quite a bit of glass. Now I don't think I have enough. I don't have enough. I'm right. So you know what to do. Stack a cobble in the transmutation table. Burn all that up. Um, and glass doesn't appear to be there. So, for, oh, I do have glass there, that's fine then. Now, have I actually taught it about glass? I must have done. So, there we are. 28, only 28 pieces of glass? I thought I'd put a full stack in there, but 28 will do. I need three tanks. There's the three tanks. I also need the diamond gear. Oops. And I need myself. Did I make. No, I didn't make redstone torches. That's fine. Two sticks then. And uh, two bits of redstone. Pretty easy. Sticks and redstone. There and there. Tanks. There, there, and there. And then the diamond gear. And that is a refinery. Very nice indeed. So I've got the golden conductive pipe there. I have the power teleport pipe there. I have some golden waterproof pipes. Um, I'm going to want the obviously the valve pipes. So I think that's with two um, two levers and a pipe, if I remember right. Oh no, two pipes and a lever. So I'm going to need four wooden waterproof pipes and two levers. Not a problem. Not a problem. Let's get this sorted out now. Two levers. There we are. The wooden waterproof pipes, of course. I'm going to have to feed some of this in. I want to get that out, but I want to actually... Hmm. Can I put that in there and target the waterproof, waterproofing? 
Obviously not. Oh no, because of course I just have to do that. Um, now, can the transmutation table actually know about this? No, it can't. So that's a fair enough, fair enough thing there. Uh, I need some wooden pipes, which is pretty easy. There we are. Two of them turned into. Oh no, four of them, don't I? Four of them turned into waterproof pipes. Brilliant. And then the two either side of two levers, and we've got the two valve pipes. Now we are going to need, of course, um, levers to actually use these valve pipes. So there's another couple of levers, just to make sure I've got everything ready and sorted. I just uh, clipped the recording there to make sure everything is, um, you know, recorded, and I haven't missed anything, and nothing's gone wrong as usual. Um, so let's go up here and find out exactly what we're going to do. First and foremost, we want the valve pipe there. We want to put that into the refinery. So let's get a uh, lever on top of there. Does that work? Yes, it does. Sweet. Let's fill all this up. Full of nice juicy oil there. And it'll fill up both sides before it then will do absolutely nothing. There we are. So now I can turn it off. Sweet. And I don't know whether or not it all gets sucked back into there. It doesn't look it, but that's fine. It's not a problem. I need then another valve pipe. Um, and I'm not sure if I need it out the front actually to uh, for the fuel. Or is it the bottom? I don't know. We'll find out. But the first things first, I need a power teleport pipe. Uh, I need it on my hotbar first before I actually do that kind of thing. Uh, along with a normal conductive pipe. Brilliant, thank you. Even though I was shift clicking there. Let's, uh. I can't, I can't believe get back. Get out, get out of the way! Get out of my face! Right, let's get back up there and see what we can do. Now. Hmm, interesting. Bit of laggage. It's fine. It's not a problem. Why is it not letting me do that? Uh, that's fine. Um, there, is, there are other ways of doing it, of course. And that's like totally butchering the word. Oh, Half a crying out loud. Swimming again. Swimming again. Right, let's go back up here. And let's do this right this time. Let's come around here. Come around here. And put um, that there. Brilliant. Now it works. And then the power teleport pipe just on there. Brilliant. And I don't want to crash the whole thing again, so I'm going to turn off the power. I need another power teleport pipe, actually, come to think of it. Um, because, of course, I need to actually transfer power from there over to there. Um, do I need one? Because I haven't actually... That's not... Uh, that's bog power. Let's rename that to uh, refinery. Enter. Cheers. Oh. There we are. So that's on what? Set to... It's connected to one. What's that connected to? Why is it not doing anything? Well, I actually don't want to do that, do I? Um, that's connected to two. So refinery one... Laser 2, and that's the wrong one. I know this. Um, let me change that back to Bog Production. Thank you. And that is still going all, all the way through there, that's fine. It's this one we need to choose, uh, to change. Um, we're changing this to... Hang on a minute. We're changing this to refinery. Thank you. Eventually we got there. So it's on number two. And just to make sure everything goes okay, I'm stopping the power now. Moving sl uh, swiftly over here to turn on the power to my refinery. Making sure everything is working okay. So this time we'll go over here and press two. Set. Refinery. Receive true. 
Everything should be okay now. I can go down, turn the power back on. And everything should be hunky-dory. Yep, that's right. I haven't crashed, so that's a good sign. And hopefully there's enough power going through here just for the moment until we get some good combustion engines. Um, there is there is a little tiniest bit of fuel there. There's not much power coming through, you can see there. Um, normally these two little things on the side will be going up and down and up and down. So we've just got to keep that in mind. I think, if I'm right, I can come straight out of here and uh, into some more tanks, which I don't have. So I'm just going to go get them and I will be back. Just crafting myself up three more tanks here. Brilliant stuff. We can finally, finally get ourselves just a tiny bit of fuel to be able to power what is going to be the combustion engines. I'm going to need a lot more power going, f uh, a lot more fuel going forwards. Remember that this bit here is only a temporary solution. I'm not going to be using the peat bog uh, to power everything. Don't you worry, because of course that's just not going to happen. So I'm wondering if, and I don't like that, it's looking like that. Yes, that does actually work from the side there, so that's great. That's better. So it's getting all the fuel out there into here. We've got a tiny little bit of fuel there, that's fine. I'm going to need a liquid teleport pipe actually to uh, to my combustion engine block. Um, but that is enough on this little bit of a section at at the moment, I'm going to pop over to my bees now and see if anything actually has happened with these guys. It looks like they've stopped. There's no more particle effects coming out. So uh, we've got a forest princess and a forest drone. This, these are the uh, obviously the, the, pure, the purebred forest ones. And this one, what have we got? Meadows princess, meadows drone. Um, all unknown for the moment. And we've got the honeycomb. I think that's... Uh, I best analyse this as well, haven't I? Just to make sure. I've got no honey, of course. So let's go over here and uh, and grab some honey out. And uh, interesting fact, you can actually keep the honey in here, and it won't go out when you uh, exit. So you can see this is a purebred forest, normal, blah blah blah. We already know all this. So this one, what did we get from this? A meadows forest, and um, I forget. Is the uh, Hmm. Is the recessive gene blue, or is the is the uh, you know dominant gene red? I can't remember. I can't remember. But that's the Meadows Forest hybrid right there. Meadows Forest drone. Meadows Forest drone again. So let us actually go back over here and put in the Meadows Forest hybrid the Meadows Forest drone and let's see what kind of stuff we can get from that. I'm willing to bet not a great deal but you never know. Some honeycombs there, we did not get anything from there. See what I actually want to do is when I put this in here I want then to be a gate there saying you know when this machine has work to emit a redstone signal when it emit, you know when it when it emits a red pipe signal, stone signal, whatever it will then flick this switch bang Power's going to come in. When it's not got any work to do, it's going to stop it. So, it's a very, very useful tool to have is the gate making machine. And that is exactly what we're going to be putting over here. It's three combustion engines. And uh, we need a water source. So, we can either use this, or I'm tempted actually to put a liquid teleport pipe on that, since we're not using it much, to be honest. And we've got plenty of water coming over from there, so... Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go and do that right now. We need two liquid teleport pipes. No, actually, we need four liquid teleport pipes. So this could be a very, very expensive build, because I don't think I've got enough. No, I've only got three item teleport pipes. And if I remember right, I need two diamond gears to make teleport pipes. So that is not good news. That is not good news at all. Hmm... What to do? I need eight diamonds, and I've got nowhere near enough stuff to power it. Mind you, this silver I'm not going to be using much, so I don't know how much we can get from that, to be honest. Ooh, one diamond. <laughs> one diamond from that, wonderful stuff. Put that back in there. Um, so that's obviously not the best way of doing this. 
Um, I don't know. Let's go look at our collectors. Maybe I can nick something from inside the collector. Not in the collector, sorry, this thing. Um, in fact, hang on a second, let's put that in there. Plus it's got 6,500, you know, already done. Um, Eternalist fuel. We're finally making some Eternalist. So that's definitely good news. That's what I was after. But I want to see... I'm just going to nick this Eternalist fuel, these, both of these Eternalist fuels. The rest of you, I'll still end up with quite a bit, but I've got a couple more diamonds from there. So that's what, four now, plus a five in the chest. I need three more diamonds. Uh, let's see what we can pilfer from inside our little area here. I believe I've got some kind of gems. Yeah, I've got nine of them, so I can keep one in there. So that's another diamond right now. I really do need to go mining after this uh, little escapade. But let's take three of these Nicolites. In fact, hang on a sec. Let's take four of the Nicolites, because I'm not using much of them at the minute. Probably will be in the future, but not right now. Uh, diamond in there, please. Nicolite, 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 Nicolite. Oh yeah, this is really going through it. I've got enough diamonds now. But I'm just going to let this go through because I'm going to leave a little bit of an excess of diamonds. Brilliant stuff. Ten diamonds, finally. Okay, so on with the build itself. Where's my wrench gone? I bet, I bet I haven't got enough gold now. <laughs> I've only got four gold and I need eight. Um, fine, we'll use a... Oh, that's there. I didn't really need to do that. Never mind. So, I need two golden gears, please. In fact, no, it is. Yeah, it is. No, I was right. I'm missing one gold ingot. Oh, yeah, because of course it doesn't actually provide that other one. So, I'll bugger it. Let's get some excess gold as well. Two golden gears, please. Request successful. Um, I've got a piece of glass on me, so that's fine. Come okay, on, golden gears. There we are. Two diamond gears. Either side of a bit of glass. Item teleport pipes. Brilliant. I've got quite a few of them now, so no need to worry on that front. Um... some of that, turn it into uh, waterproofing. I need four liquid teleport, uh, teleport pipes, don't I? Waterproof teleport pipes, brilliant stuff. We're cooking with gas now, fellas. We are cooking with gas. And I'm just going to stick one right there. And that's definitely a good idea. Um, why can I not there we are. Set to uh, one, please. Um, engine coolant. Collant? What the hell is collant? Coolant. Add, receive true. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah. Oh. And then what's going to be over here? But I'm going to do that in just a second. Another one is, of course, the uh, the fuel here. And I'm actually going to want another valve pipe. Now, how did I actually do one of them things again? Two wooden waterproof ones. You know what, I'll be back in a minute. Right, I forgot about these two that were in there. So that's a piece of luck. And, of course, two wooden pipes there with a wooden waterproof pipe. And I'm going to need... I have no sticks on me. That's fine. can always make them. And a lever. Another valve pipe. Brilliant stuff. And the valve pipe is going to pull out of that fuel tank and into the teleport pipe. The teleport pipe will then feed the combustion engines, but that will have to wait until next episode as we are running out of time. Um, 
In fact, I really do, I don't think I need that one there, do I not? Will that attach straight to that? It looks like it does. So that's good. And another lever, please. To be able to deal with this thing. Bloop. That's good, but it's not going anywhere just yet. Connected one. What? That should be set to... Oh. Well, it's receiving false anyway, so we're okay. Uh, that, personally, should be set to uh, set to number one, not number zero. So let me sort that out. We'll sort that out, and then I'm going to end the episode there. Next episode, we're going to create them... Uh, So I'll need to remove that one first. Put that one there. One engine. Oop. Engine. Coolant. Can't type today at all. Add. Can receive. True. So we're okay on that front. Next episode, I'm going to be creating the uh, combustion engines. I'm going to be creating that engine block that I told you guys about. And then I'm going to be feeding the power back into this refinery to make it a lot better. Um, but at the minute, I can't do that. So, two. Fuel production. Ooh, there we are. Fuel production. Add. Can receive. True, but it's obviously not going anywhere just yet anyway, so that's not really, a, you know, it's not too bad. Um, I could leave that open. Do I really want to? Where's it all gone? Where's it gone? I don't know where it's gone. But, never mind. I'll leave that for another day. Okay, guys, so I'm going to wrap the episode up now. It's gone well over the half an hour. Um... Next episode, like I said, I'm going to be creating that coolant, the um, little combustion engine block here, so I can eventually get these gates on the go with the assembly table, and um, I'll be sorting the rest of that out. So until next time, guys, I've been the tough man. Until next time, stay safe.